Hello and welcome to CIO Leadership Live Middle East. Today we welcome Nithin Gio Thomas, Head of IT at Amity University, Dubai. Hello Nithin, how are you? Oh, very good. Thank you so much, Andrea. How are you doing? Uh, all good. Thank you so much uh, for joining. Uh, really looking forward to catching up with you. Uh, I must admit that I've been really interested in what is going on in terms of education and edtechs. So, so our readers, so I really expect to discuss today with you so you can let us know more about the things you are developing and, uh, at Amiti University, Dubai. Could you let us know a little bit about your background, how you got started in IT and security? Uh, sure, Andrea. Thanks a lot for having me in your show. Um, to start with and brief you about um, my journey so far with IT, uh, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm one of the most uh, fortunate people who allow to experience something new every day. And uh, that's how I ended up in IT. IT uh, provides me with some opportunities to uh, deal with some complex business requirements at uh, some point of time, mostly every day. Um, along with you know, uh, along with some innovation from our part to be involved in it, and uh, many of the other job specialities may or may not get this opportunity. Where I am very uh, quite fortunate to be with the IT on this. Uh, I mean, to be precise, my IT career started from out soon after I completed my engineering. And I started with an ERP company earlier, uh, followed by working with the world's largest insurer, and then followed by uh, the world's largest K through education provider. And now with the uh, MIT Education uh, Middle East, we also um, have uh, you know uh, edu- I mean we also work in the education sector with a diversified business requirement. Like for example, we have uh, um, we operate pre uh, preschools, nurseries, and then uh, K through schools until PhD. So that uh, and yeah, that's how it, it all it goes on. Thank you. Uh, Nithin, what major transformation project has been recently completed or is underway at your organization? Yeah, Andrea, our projects are pretty diverse. As uh, so is our uh, business. So basically, uh, as I said earlier, uh, we operate um, you know a business from preschools until. Um, universities. So the requirement of a, a nursery may not be the same as of a higher education institute. So there are certain things which we require to be uh, indulged into finding out what exactly the users require, especially uh, on the usability part of it. And there are certain things which we uh, want uh, to be implemented on a control uh, basis, for example, an ERP. So there are certain things uh, which uh, we uh, work towards uh, on, a, on a specific requirement of a particular entity within the group, as well as uh, there are group-wide um, projects as well. But it all comes from the same box. Like, you know, uh, a same team is uh, handling all those things. So um, uh, in the past, in the, the recent past, we have uh, completed an ERP project, which is a group-wide project. And then we started with a uh, LMS and uh, uh, CRM project, which we developed uh, an LMS and CRM recently. And we have also uh, implemented a uh, SIS for the schools, which is also a group wide project. Uh, so that, that's all about the projects at the moment here. Yeah. Uh, as I was saying, uh, saying, a lot of things have changed in the education sector. So, how did technology have changed uh, education landscape? Oh, interesting question, Andrea. So um, the technology has actually liberated education. So basically, it was confined between four walls of a classroom. Now uh, it is a sector with no boundaries at all. Uh, you may require a, 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 you may require a classroom in the past to deliver the education, but at the moment there is no boundaries at all, and no one demands your uh, time or no one demands your um, you know, uh, presence at a particular time when you're busy. That's how the technology has uh, liberated education at the moment. So right now, you can pursue your education. If you have a will, you can pursue your education at any point of time, any point of time, uh, wherever you are, and at your own pace, 
that's how uh, education ha- i mean technology has changed education at the moment indeed uh, education i mean technology is a game changer in the education sector uh nithin uh some of the things some of the challenges that took place also in the education landscape is to educate people because not everyone it's on technology so how do we encourage more university leaders to see technology's potential absolutely you 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 said that so actually um, especially where after this pandemic um, outbreak there was a lot of change in the education sector which happened like okay, many people were uh, very um, i mean you know very uh, all on a comfort zone uh, earlier to deliver the education in the in, in the traditional way of getting it done but uh, at the moment there is no question at all about education if uh, the, the the options are either you required to adopt adapt to the technology or stay behind everyone else that's only option however uh, whenever we think about technology implementations we require to think about the business strategy of the organization whether it is education or any anywhere else so basically it is not just like you know we we involve and then get uh, things done as a technology leader but we require to understand the business world what is it, what is your education I mean, your your uh, organization score what are we planning to um, get uh, get done and what are we going to do because actually based, uh, in, in in any organization a technology which is implemented and not used is more like a curse than a boon so basically you require to be very mindful about uh, implementing technology uh, uh, and what are we going to use that for understand the use case uh, build the technology around uh, I mean, to to pursue how 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 the business requirement is going to be met. That's the best thing which you can give on. So, Nathan, you think the pandemic has been the biggest change maker for education in terms of technology, of course. Absolutely, absolutely. Not just in education. Uh, everywhere in technology. So earlier. The uh, CEOs or the the education leader, um, the technology leaders were not being heard of in many organizations at the moment. Uh, so they are the number one priorities to be listened to. So how things are getting done is uh, not just uh, technology is just not an option at the moment. It is just like you know uh, the other way of delivering whatever we are doing. That's all. I like when you say technology is not an option. Very true. Uh, yeah. Nathan, what are your professional goals for this year um, for the university? Where is the company going to invest? All right. Okay. So uh, basically, uh, our university the university has achieved uh, accreditation from Ministry of Education, uh, which not just the um, just an accreditation. It's a uh, it's a complete change of how we deliver the education in the past to how we are currently going to operate. So these have direct implications on uh, technology perspectives as well. So our current projects are mostly uh, oriented towards uh, getting it done in the right way. Uh, at the same time, technology is always meant to be, you know, um, uh, to ease out the pain areas of where, um, uh, I mean, uh, where the manual operations are currently on. So we have certain things, uh, certain projects which are currently operating in getting those. Those operations operate uh, automated uh, to ease out things for the end users. Nitin, thank you so much for spending your time with us on CIO Leader Safe Life. Uh, thank you, and we wish you the best to you and MIT University Dubai. It's my pleasure, Andrea. Thanks a lot for having me in the show again. Thank you.